Dwarf Hilly Tuber, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 3 with me, Blue Ankylo. We're in the middle of a battle against some monsters and maybe a bandit or two. We're trying to escape from the Imperial Army who's chased us through the town whose name I always forget, Balsalam or Barasami, I don't know, something. I always forget it. And, uh, you know, we're just killing some worms and stuff and having a grand old time, basically. Uh, in case you're wondering, I did realize that the last couple episodes, the in-game volume was a little bit low. I turned it down a few episodes ago because I recognized that, uh, I think it was while we were in, um, Saraband, when the, when the bombs went off, it sounded really loud on the recording. Just about as loud as my voice. So I turned down, like, I swear, I turned it down like 5%, the game music, and it sounded like it was like a quarter of the volume it used to be. So now I've turned it up. A little bit. It's not as loud as it was before, but it's like instead of instead of minus five percent, now we're minus like two percent. I think it's still considerably quieter by the looks of things, but hopefully it balances out. Um, in case you're wondering, my general rationale on game sounds is you should be able to hear the music and the sound effects, but it should come in slightly lower than my volume as the commentator. Um, I don't want the game's audio to drown me out, but it should still be audible. Not just when I'm completely quiet, either. Anyway, let's continue our battle. We've got monsters to kill. So there is a treasure chest on the other side of the map, which we're going to head towards. Um, I'm willing to have Sinbayos start this fight over. Even if Dantares can't quite make it to the worm. Which he might. Uh, he could use a uh, ranged attack. Ah, he can make it anyway. Now... If I move him here, I can only attack with a spear. I haven't actually shown this off yet. Um, but I can easily switch to the spear. Now, if you remember when I picked this up, it had one less attack than the bronze lance. The reason there's a difference of four now is he's got lance level one, which means he actually does more damage on a base attack. Um... The thing is, though, if he's beside Symbios, he'll also get sort of a hidden... Uh, how much is it? He'll get a hidden attack buff, which should counteract that minus three. It should be about the same, actually. So, even using the spear, he'll probably do about the same damage as he would with the lance, given that he can be uh, adjacent to someone with support. I don't think wrong class is incorrect. I don't think anyone can use potions equip-wise. Um... Now, I would love to show off the Bronze last Lance special, but let's show uh, a Spear ranged attack first. So, the Throwing Spear. A favorite of all Centaurs, and one of the reasons they're one of the best classes in the game, if not the best. Lots of movement range, often good stats, and uh, a range one or two type of uh, weapon. Hard not to like, basically. Symbios should be safe over here. Now, I don't want to forget that primarily Dantares is supposed to be using the lance. So I'm going to switch back to that right away and try to keep track. I also think probably Obright and Grace should be the ones to break these. Um, actually, you know, Masquerade might be a good one. You don't really get a lot of XP, but... You can get items sometimes, medical herbs and stuff. But if anyone needs 5 free XP, it's probably those two, honestly. There you go, have an antidote herb, why not? Alright, so I could attack right now. Thing is, I'm starting to get to the point again where it's like the same two people getting all the kills. It's Symbios and Dantres getting all the kills when it's actually the other teammates that need the XP. 
So I'm thinking... Let's lure him over a little bit first. Staying out of the way of the sniper, but yeah, I want... I want the rest of my slower characters, or the ones that are just lagging behind a little bit. I want them to catch up so they can get some, uh, some actual XP. Still went after Dantrez. That's interesting. I guess, yeah, because Obright has more defense than Dantrez, so that's fine. Uh, now Symbios, still not level 1 sword, <laughs> you know what that means. I kind of feel like on this battle it would be nice to get some more people to level 1 of their weapons as well. And if Dantra has just got his lance up, I bet you the rest of the team is pretty close. At least the people who do physical attacks. Fortunately, we can't get Hayward close enough. You know what? I definitely don't mind Grace getting a kill when I get the chance. And she got just enough damage. Not a lot of XP, but it's fine. Hey, I'll keep running Obright up front because he's... He always goes so slow anyway. Now, I could hit this guy with Blaze, but Masquerade will probably take a fair bit of damage in counter, sort of. We could have an Archer duel with Hayward, though. Alright, sorry, gamepad's being a little bit wonky. That was all that was. Just a sec. Yeah, apparently, my wireless receiver is, like, more than six inches away from my gamepad and it didn't want to work. Uh, but yeah, let's put Symbios in the resistance area, or land effect area, the grass, rather than the sand. Uh, Dantrez, though, would like to be healed, so we'll keep him nearby, but... Alright, and I think I will let Hayward go for the Archer Duel. He'll even get a bonus from, uh, Masquerade, not like it really matters. If she gives him magic points, I don't see how that helps him with the sniper battle. In fact, I should let someone else attack him, the, the sniper, next, so that the friendship points keep stacking. Too slow, huh? Nah, let's just smack this barrel with Obright, it's fine. Obright, I feel like he's got enough defense right now that I don't mind putting him in the most dangerous zone. Because the day, the, the road to the most dangerous area. But, um, you know, he'll probably be fine. I actually wouldn't mind Maskerin finishing that off, but... Just for the friendship and spreading of the XP kind of thing. We should probably go for the Worm, though, first. Ooh, the Worm blocks! Now, as far as I remember, you don't get friendship points if... The enemy blocks or takes zero damage. You have to actually hit the enemy and deal damage for friendship points to work. So like Dantares and Symbios probably didn't get any for that. He's got the high ground. That's okay. Hayward's got this. No, he doesn't. Never mind. Maybe Obright's got this. We'll see. Um, so Grace should definitely start doing some healing. I think she's got to be pretty close to level 4 now. Like, maybe one or two more heals, right? There, just one more. Perfect. There's the antidote spell. Good stuff. 2 MP, no stats though, that's disappointing. Alright, and Obright, I would really appreciate if you could kill this worm before we get paralyzed. Good work, my friend. And Maskrin, you know what? This archer sniper guy, I don't like him very much. 
Also, I get the feeling that the enemies do not spawn infinitely on this map, like I may have suggested last episode. They spawn for a little while, but then they stop. Hey, leveled up our blaze spell. Three more MP. And the double palm. So that confirms. I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, no, we don't need that. Uh, that definitely confirms that you get weapon experience when you use magic, which I wasn't sure about. Uh, I figured it probably would, but she got the rod level one just by casting magic for sure. So that's good to know. So that does give her, that should give her more magic damage and physical damage as far as I know, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, now you can see there what blaze level two will do. Um, it will cost 5 MP instead of 3, it will do a little bit more damage, uh, but it doesn't tell you here that it does AoE, I believe. So we've got our first, uh, multi-target spell. So Symbiosa... Uh... Eh, you go beat this, 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 uh, bat up, why not? Not, not the, not the barrel. The bat. Or you could miss. That's great, that's like the first miss we've had all game. Don Terez. Dan Terez. Um, you guys tell me how you pronounce his name. Um, I actually really don't want him to keep getting all the kills, to be honest. He's like almost halfway to level 5 already, so you just take a break. Tell you what, you can shoot a barrel. Now, I will need to send someone over to pick up the, uh, the chest. I can't forget about that. There's probably something good up there. But I figured we should kill these two enemies first. Yeah, that's really nothing. The bats are only annoying in the sense that they can poison you. They're not even really that aggressive, honestly. So does any... Uh, I guess she could heal herself. Yeah, why not? I've got a couple spare medical herbs. I can trade some more to her anyway. They, my inventory is kind of full, so I'd rather just trade some 10 GP herbs for 10 XP. I think that's worth it. All right, Obright. Can you do better than Symbios? Yes, you can, but you still didn't kill it. On the other hand, that does allow us to get some more friendship points, so... There you go, Symbios. Now you make friends with Obright, and you get the kill. Thank you. It's actually, honestly, that's a more optimal solution to killing that bat, but... Um... Dontres is just gonna hold back. Not amazing. Brace is going to now heal Don Therese, I guess. I gotta remember to start passing her some more medical herbs now, if I can remember. I think if you tap A, those go a little bit quicker, or if you hold C type deal. Yeah, if you hold C, it definitely skips through the messages quicker. And I'm all about saving time. So, Masquerin's level 4 already, that's fine. Three damage, oh no! Um... No, I'm not gonna give Symbios the kill. I'm gonna keep him near the exit though. Uh, because it's his job. And I'm gonna start sending a couple people back. Mostly because I need to get that chest. Hey, level 4 Hayward. Yeah, the, the archers aren't going to get a ton of defense. That's just not their thing. Alright, so you've got no more herbs. But you do have the antidote spell. How much does that cost, by the way? Oops, I, <laughs> that's definitely not what I meant to do. I think antidote costs 2.
Right, so Symbios is going to stay down here until we get the chest and until I'm ready to leave. Um, let me just double check the movement on the worm. Yeah, I don't want the worm to get a free hit because Paralyze is annoying. So we'll sort of let him come to us a little bit more. I'm just going to use that immediately, but... I'm pretty sure we won't require healing for, like, a worm and a bat. Right? There we go. So we're going to get the first strike on it. And I'm... You know, I'm tempted to smack it with her rod. But I will resist. I will show you guys... Not Blaze level 2. I will show you guys Blaze level 1. Now, see, it used to do 13 damage, so let's see if the rod level up makes a difference. Yeah, plus 2 damage. Party on, right? I'm sure you guys are really excited. Don Torres! I kind of want him to go get that chest, so maybe get this bat out of the way. Ooh, Lance Charge! Well, you killed that bat. Good for you. <laughs> it's kind of like a crit. Depends on what your special is. Some of them have special effects. Um, you can put enemies to sleep or do magic damage. It's pretty cool. Alright, you know what? I don't care if some of the other team would like some XP. If Grace can get it, Grace will get it. Perfect. Now I know Albright probably was looking forward to a level- Oh wait, no! No! You can't kill all the enemies or the battle ends anyway! Oh no, I didn't get the treasure! I, I didn't think it would end like that. No, now I kind of have to redo this fight. No, I'm going to let it go. Uh, hold on, just a second. I know I have a guide open here, just, just give me half a second. I just missed a steel bracer. It's probably a ring with plus defense. Which is good, but it's not the end of the world if I miss it. I'm not happy though. Let me, just, just a sec. I know you guys are just watching the screen with nothing going on, but I want to make sure it's not something better than what I, what I remember. So, accessories. Search for the steel bracer. It might be called the protect braced. Okay, so it's defense plus three. And most units can equip it. It's kind of the opposite of the attack, the iron bracer that we just picked up with the. Uh, well, we, it's called the battle brace that gave us plus two attack. So this was a ring of plus three defense. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, shoot. I should really redo the map, but I'm not going to. We're gonna, we're gonna power on. Still, this is Imperial territory, and we're such a small force, the time we gained is very precious. Well guys, I hope if you're playing along, you learn from my mistake, and leave one enemy alive until you pick up the magic chest. They say treasure is hidden in Dwarf Hill just ahead. Beyond that is the town railhead. Hurry, General Prodon awaits. So the way I remembered that map anyway was that you had to move, um... Symbios to the edge to finish the map. I was apparently wrong and you just clear the map and you continue. Our chief is as clever as ever. Uh oh. I was worried a peace treaty would be bad for business, but luckily things changed and war broke out. Who could have predicted this? But the chief knew it was happen. He must have contacts everywhere. With the security forces busy with the Republican armies, we're free to steal like there's no tomorrow. Still, even though we are part of the Shiraf clan, we're stuck on this stupid watch. I wish we could join a more active unit.
bandits are on guard just ahead. But we can't afford to waste time on them. Shiraf, the bandit chief, knows about the conference debacle. There's something suspicious here. Fishy, even. King Benetrim, we're losing precious time sitting here. Once we meet with General Produn, I must think all this through again. Let's move out. Split them right down the middle. Well, guys, um... I have bad news for you. I'm going to cut this episode a little bit short, and we're going to start this battle in the next one. I'm also a little bit down that I, uh, I messed up. You know what? I'm going to try one little thing here. This way I can save it properly anyway. We'll, we'll come back to this map in a second. Can you guys tell what I'm about to do? Zinbios. Cast. Egress. Woo! So you can do that in the middle of battle, and you'll just warp back to the last uh, church, which is cool. But uh, you can use that to basically get all the enemies to respawn, and you can keep fighting them as long as you'd like, really. But that's kind of cheesy, so I try not to do that unless we're really falling behind in levels. But now I can make a proper save. And I'm hoping that maybe... Maybe I can walk through that last map rather than just immediately teleport to the boss fight. Or, instead of teleporting straight to the next fight, I'm hoping I'll go through the well and I can pick up the treasure. Because if I can't do that, then I'm a little bit sad. And luckily, the Imperials still haven't invaded the city, so we've still got some time. It's really nice of them to wait for us. You know, this, you think this would confuse everybody, like, hey, didn't you just go through this door? Gosh darn it, I must be seeing things. That's two symbioses in King Benetrims now today. Actually, that's three King Benetrims today. Oh. Come on, let me... Yes, yes! Oh man, I am so clever. I'm glad I thought of that, actually. I almost was ready to just give up on this uh, treasure. So there you go, learn from blue. You don't even have to worry about picking it up. It's totally no big deal. Just egress from the battle after it. All right, so who should we give that to? Um, item, give... Protect Bracer, so plus three defense. Um, now, Symbios, because I gave him the power... Something, power wine, yeah. His attack power is pretty good right now. I might actually give, I might switch it over to to Hayward, so Hayward can do more damage. Dantra's damage is good. Also, I bet you Sinbios is very close to getting a sword rank up. And that'll give him some more damage too. Obright though, he could use it as well, but... Yeah, let's do this. Switch that with that. You sure will. And yeah, you can only have one uh, item equipped. I don't know what I was thinking, saying you could have two equipped earlier. That would be silly. Alright. So that will keep our leader a little bit more protected. In fact, he's got a ton of defense now. And that will let our... Archer do a little bit more damage with his ranged attacks. Obright, well... I'll, I'll tell you guys a secret. I'm usually not a big fan of these types of uh, classes in this game. In any of the Shining Forces, to be honest. Um, I generally don't like warriors very much. We'll see if he turns out alright. Um, but, like, he's the only class that I've seen so far with negative magic resistance. Um, his support defense is probably good. But terrible agility, terrible luck. And, you know, luck actually gets kind of important eventually, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, now we'll be done the episode, and next time we can start this battle in the confidence that we didn't miss any important items. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and have a great day.